Today I'm going to show you how I use the Roxy & Rich colored cocoa butter. Here I'm using these cotton makeup pads just to remove any residue and to make sure that the chocolate comes out nice and shiny. The cocoa butter is in a solid state, so once we remove the lid, we're going to pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds at a time, and then when we remove it from the microwave, we're just going to gently massage the bottle to loosen it up. Put the lid back on, give it a gentle shake, and then we're going to repeat the steps again, 10 second intervals in the microwave, gently massage the bottle, shake it up until a liquid begins to form. There's no need to heat up the entire bottle, just heat up enough that you need. Pour some of the cocoa butter into a small bowl and we will begin to temper it next. I will be using this digital thermometer set to Celsius along with a hair dryer to heat up the cocoa butter. We are going to heat the cocoa butter up to 40 or 41 degrees Celsius while we are constantly stirring with the tip of the thermometer. Once we reach 40 or 41 degrees Celsius, we are going to transfer this small bowl into a larger bowl of cold water or ice water and cool it down to 28 or 29 degrees Celsius. Continue to stir the cocoa butter with the tip of your thermometer until it gets to 28 or 29 degrees Celsius. So now that it's hit 28 degrees Celsius, we are going to remove it from the cold water and we are going to heat the cocoa butter back up to 30 or 31 degrees Celsius and then it will be ready to go. The cocoa butter is now in temper and ready to use. If you are going to use your fingers, to create the designs inside your molds, I would suggest using food safe gloves because this can get messy. Once that's done, I like to pop the mold inside the refrigerator for just five minutes to allow it to set. Let's add another color to the mold. I've already tempered the yellow cocoa butter. I'm using a paintbrush to flick the cocoa butter inside the cavities, but I would suggest maybe using a toothbrush. You'd probably get better results. I'm wiping down the mold using just a paper towel. This is a good idea to do in between each color. I'm gonna pop the mold back in the fridge for another five minutes to set. Lastly, I'm going to paint the entire cavity using this white cocoa butter, which I've already tempered as well. Now that I've painted the cavities, I'm going to pop it in the fridge one more time for five minutes to set. I'm going to fill the cavities with tempered chocolate. Now we're going to tap the sides of the mold gently and this should remove any air bubbles that may appear on the surface. Turn your mold over and all the excess chocolate will just fall right out. Once you clean off the surface of the mold, place it in the refrigerator for 15 to 45 minutes to set. When you see the chocolate contract away from the mold, you know they're ready to be popped out. At this point here, you would actually fill your chocolate with something like a salted caramel and then you would seal it back up with more tempered chocolate, but we'll save that for another video. I was quite pleased with how these turned out. I've been experimenting with tempered chocolate and cocoa butter for months, so I was happy with how these turned out and figured I would put it here on YouTube for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. Thanks guys.